Welcome back to Future News. As always, an article linked to this interesting discovery can be found in the description below. Deep in the heart of South Africa, a remarkable discovery has been made. Hidden amongst the rugged landscape is a series of ancient rock paintings. These paintings, created by the San people, offer a glimpse into a world long gone. One painting in particular has captured the imagination of scientists and historians alike. It depicts a strange creature with a long serpentine body, a curved spine and prominent tusks. This is the Horned Serpent Painting. The Horned Serpent Painting is found in the Free State Province of South Africa. Experts believe it was created no later than 1835. This makes the painting over 150 years old. What makes this painting truly remarkable is its potential subject matter. Some scientists believe that the Horned Serpent is not a mythical creature but a representation of a real animal from a distant past, the Dicynodont. Dicynodonts were not dinosaurs. They were a group of mammal-like reptiles that thrived during the Permian period, millions of years before the dinosaurs walked the Earth. These fascinating creatures were herbivores, feeding on the abundant plant life of their time. Dicynodonts ranged in size from small burrowers to large grazers. Some species possessed a pair of prominent tusks, which they likely used for display, defense and foraging. One of the most distinctive features of Dicynodonts was their posture. Unlike most reptiles which have sprawling limbs, Dicynodonts held their legs more erect beneath their bodies. This posture allowed them to move more efficiently and cover vast distances in search of food. Dicynodonts were remarkably successful animals. They were one of the few groups of animals to survive the Permian-Triassic extinction event, the most severe mass extinction in Earth's history. Could the San people have seen a living Dicynodont? The answer is a resounding no. Dicynodonts went extinct over 200 million years ago. However, the San people were intimately familiar with the fossil remains of these ancient creatures. The Karoo Basin, where the Horned Serpent Painting is located, is a veritable treasure trove of fossils. It is one of the richest fossil sites in the world, preserving a remarkable record of life on Earth during the Permian period. The San people would have encountered Dicynodont fossils in their daily lives. They would have seen their bones eroding out of the hillsides. They would have recognized their unique features, the tusks, the beak-like mouths, and the curved spines. It is not a stretch to imagine that these fossils would have captured their imaginations, just as they capture our imaginations today. Section 4. The San People's Ancient Knowledge the San people are renowned for their deep spiritual connection to nature. Their survival in the harsh African landscape depended on their intimate knowledge of the land, its plants and its animals. This knowledge was passed down through generations, often encoded in stories, songs and art. The horned serpent painting, with its potential depiction of a Dicynodont, suggests that this knowledge extended beyond the realm of the living and into the deep time of fossils. This interpretation of the Horned Serpent painting has profound implications for our understanding of indigenous knowledge systems. It suggests that the San people may have been practicing a form of paleontology thousands of years before the emergence of Western science. They were observing, interpreting and incorporating their understanding of fossils into their worldview. This ancient knowledge, woven into the fabric of their culture, challenges us to reconsider our own perspectives on history, science, and the interconnectedness of all living things. Section 5. A Legacy in Stone The Horned Serpent painting is more than just a work of art. It is a testament to the enduring power of human curiosity and our innate desire to make sense of the world around us. It reminds us that the quest to understand our place in the universe is not a recent endeavor. It is a journey that began long ago, with the first humans who looked up at the stars and wondered, who looked down at the rocks and saw the echoes of ancient life. As we continue to explore the world, 
both ancient and modern, we must remember the lessons etched in stone by our ancestors. We must approach indigenous knowledge systems with respect and humility, recognizing the depth and complexity of their understanding. And we must strive to preserve these invaluable legacies for future generations for they hold keys to unlocking the mysteries of our shared past and navigating the challenges of our shared future.